To minimize the spread of COVID-19, public health workers need to know about exposures to make sure that all Rhode Islanders are safe and supported. Our contact tracing system helps our interviewers gather the necessary information. Let's take the example of Sarah Smith, who starts her day by looking at a list of cases to interview. Each case is an individual who has tested positive for COVID-19. She picks up the case of David Johnson. Sarah reviews details about Dave and calls him to begin the initial interview. The system provides prompts so she can be consistent with her messaging and make sure she doesn't miss any important information. Sarah confirms Dave's symptoms and understands his needs regarding food, housing, and childcare. Finally, Sarah helps Dave retrace his steps to document who he may have come in close contact with and which public settings he may have visited while he was infectious. Dave helps Sarah by sharing his location diary on his Crush COVID app. Among those people is Jan Williams, who is Dave's co-worker. Once the call is complete, Dave is directed to isolate since he has tested positive for COVID-19. To assist him in recovery, the system automatically sends a text message with helpful information. Dave receives a daily text survey to make sure he's okay and to address his needs if they have changed. Once he recovers or is no longer infectious, the case for Dave Johnson is closed. Please know the information given to public health workers is kept completely private and confidential. They are here to help. Next, the information is handed off to a contact tracer. Contact tracers, such as Fred Jones, notify individuals who may have come in contact with Dave, such as Jan. Fred calls Jan and notifies her of potential exposure to a COVID-19 patient. Fred has provided a call script to help him gather the information he needs from Jan. Fred confirms demographic information, asks Jan if she has been having any symptoms, and gathers basic medical history. Fred tells Jan that she must quarantine, which means she should stay home and separate herself from others for 14 days. Fred tells Jan that she will receive a daily survey by text message to check on possible symptoms and understand her evolving needs for support. Jan's survey will monitor for symptoms and notify her to isolate if symptoms do develop. After Jan's quarantine period has expired and she hasn't encountered any symptoms, the daily survey will end and she can safely return to work and other activities. By following the instructions provided and responding to public health officials, we can help stop the spread of COVID-19 and save the lives of Rhode Islanders. To protect patient confidentiality, case contacts will not be told the identity of the person who may have reported them. They will be told what they need to do to care for themselves, reduce the risk to others, and protect their communities from any further exposure. Contact tracing combines public participation and the power of technology to help public health officials and private health care providers stop the spread of COVID-19 